Hello again, it's John Kuzma from EndZoneVlog.com and I did a video last night about Antonio Brown and the Oakland Raiders and how they had to win to solve some of the problems they were having, but I didn't expect to be doing another Antonio Brown video tonight. Um, the Oakland Raiders ended up cutting Antonio Brown. They just thought uh, he was too much to deal with, there was too many distractions. Uh, it wasn't a good fit for their team, so they voided uh, all his guaranteed money. And then, you know, Antonio Bryant requested a, re a release on Instagram. Oakland ended up granting Brown his request. And then the New England Patriots stepped up and signed Antonio Brown, which isn't very surprising when you look at the New England Patriots track record. They have no problem uh, taking a chance on a player who is high risk. You know, they took Randy Moss when he uh, had a fallout with Oakland Raiders in the past. They've taken a shot on Josh Gordon. So this is right on par for the New England Patriots. I think uh, Antonio Brown saw what was going on in Oakland. He saw the team they had and how far of a step back it was from his situation in Pittsburgh and realized that if he stays in Oakland, then it will make him look bad in terms of uh, how he's compared to the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. Because if Pittsburgh goes to the playoffs and Oakland only wins four or five games, everybody's going to be pointing the finger at Antonio Brown and saying, you know, you left Pittsburgh for this, you're a fool. And uh, I think Antonio Brown wanted to be on a contender. And you have to remember, the New England Patriots always got the best of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Antonio Brown is going to a situation uh, that's better than he's ever been in. And not to mention, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New England Patriots always seem to cross paths. They actually play each other in week one, but Brown isn't eligible till week two. But, you know, maybe later on down the line in the playoffs, they'll, you know, uh, run into each other again. And then A.B. will have a chance at his revenge game. And he'll be on the team that is, you, you know, usually better. So for, for Antonio Brown, it was a, a, a tough hit because he lost some money. Uh, he gets way less money. I think he, he had $30 million guaranteed in Oakland. He got a one-year deal that is... Uh, that has incentives up to $15 million, but he only has $9 million guaranteed on that, that first year. So he, he took a little bit of a step backwards uh, in terms of his earnings, but he goes to a much better situation. Uh, and a Antonio Brown at this point has enough money. Um, to me, I think uh, his legacy and how he's, uh, you know, um, how he's... Uh, portrayed, I guess you can say, uh, to the to the public, uh, means a lot to him. His uh, his respect, how much respect he commands, and um, just how he's viewed by everybody means a lot to him. Uh, so going to New England, uh, this gives him a chance to win a lot of football games, maybe compete for. Uh, Vince Lombardi trophy. I think New England is loaded offensively. Remember, uh, they, they've been trying to replace Rob Gronkowski, so they drafted Ankil Harry. They signed Demarius Thomas. Um, they actually just got Josh Gordon back. So when you add Antonio Brown to that lineup, uh, there's a lot of weapons for this team. And I think, uh, you know, they're going to be better. They're going to be very close to win in a Super Bowl again. And if Brown wins, uh, you know, a Vince Lombardi trophy, a ring, which, you know, he couldn't do with the Pittsburgh Steelers, ultimately he'll have the last laugh. I'm John Kuzma. Check out endzoneblog.com.